Okay. Okay, so welcome to the computer science class and uh, we are going to start the topic of uh, network topologies, protocols and layers. And this is our chapter number five. So first we are starting with the term topology. What does it mean? So network topology is the organization of the connections between the devices. Like topology means the connection between the computers. Like you can see one computer is connected with the other. So that becomes a network like this. This is one computer. Yeah. This is connected with any other computer and they are going to, going to establish a network between them. So this has become network. But once the computers are connected and organized with each other, so they also make a topology, right? So network topology means the computers are going to be connect with each other between the devices, like mobile phones, wire or wireless, whatever. So in other words, when we talk about network topologies, we are referring to how the network is laid out and how the devices should connect to one another. So the question is that the computers are connected. So they are connected with each other to form a network. Where is the devices like routers from both networks? These are the routers. They are also being connected with each other through a wireless. So this thing, the devices, makes a network topology. So there are two main topologies in use today that you need to know. The first one, the star topology, and the second one is a mesh topology, right? Yes. How many types of topologies we have right now? Two. Name them. Mesh and star. But we have more than that. Like. Uh, there are other types of network topologies are there. Um, like bus and... Yes, bus topology and uh, and many other device types of uh, topologies are there. So in, in your course, the main are mesh and star topology is also there, right? Yeah. So let me tell you the rest. Like... Oh, we have bus topology, we have ring topology, we have star, mash, and tree. So we have many types of topologies are there. Right? Ring topology, star topology is mentioned, mash is mentioned, bus topology, tree topology, and rest of the two are there. So uh, there are mainly many types, but right here we are going to discuss only two, right? Yeah. Okay, let's work on it. <clears throat> so first we're going to discuss about the star. A network that adopts the star topology has devices that are indirectly connected via central hub or switch. So you can see there is a switch box and every computer is connected here individually. You can see every computer is connected individually with the device. So the lines representing connections that come out from the central switch to the devices. So these are the connections coming out from the central hub to one device at a time, right? And in this way, they are going to connect with many computers. So in this form of topology, we are saying that it's like a star, it's shaped like a star. So it is called a star topology, right? Yeah. 
So advantages and disadvantages of a star topology. The first one, we are going to read the advantage. The rest of the network is unaffected if the connection for the particular device fail. What does it mean? Look, this is your hub or a switch. S W I T C switch. Okay. And as we know that computers are connected in this way. I told you that computers are connected individually, like this. Isn't it? Yes. So once any wire is disconnected or break or any computer is going to be disconnected or break so the rest of the network will work this is not a kind like one computer is affected so it's going to affect the whole network so this is a good advantage like if any one computer is disconnected so that's all right with the other computers are working okay yeah did you get this point or not i get it okay number two the switch enable packets to be broadcast between devices without colliding so this is a switch box in the middle so this switch box is a kind of a device which is going to send the data in a form of a packets like in a small box right so if the data is arrived in a form of a small packets so it is a much secure way of transmission. It is a much secure method of transportation, right? So the data will not collide with each other. The data will not uh, getting uh, out of the transmission. The data is purely synchronized, connected and working. Yes. Number third. The switch can screen packets and remove corrupted packets, increasing the security of the network. Okay, the switch is going to send the data in a form of packets. I told you this thing. So if any packet is going to be uh, corrupted, so that packet would be deleted, right? So in yeah. this way, the transmission uh, having a proper synchronized data and it is sending to the other computers. So uh, this is the basic advantage of packets, that the packets are the small information pack and which is being sent from the switch to the computers. So once the data is in a form of packet, the data will be saved. And definitely it can be corrupted, but uh, it is not going to affect on our transmission. So it is a good method of a security as well. Okay. Yes. Okay. It is very easy to add new devices to the network. Yes. Like this is my switch and I'm going to connect to a printer, a printer with my network. So it is very easy. I just look, I just connected with the printer. So in, in star topology, the network is able to extend like it is not a limited network and extend the network. Right? Yes. Okay. Now, the disadvantages. The whole network fails if the central switch fails. So let's talk about this switch. If the switch is not working, the whole network will not respond. Yeah. Okay. So it can be expensive to lay cable all the way from the switch to each individual device. Like I told you, the switch is connected with the computers, with the cable. So the cable is expensive. So if you are going to uh, design a network and the computers are far away, so they require a cable, a long cable, and the long cable is quite expensive, right? So these are the minor advantage, disadvantages for the star. Right? Yeah. Okay. 
So now we are going to start about the mesh network topology. So what is a mesh network topology? In this network, based on a mesh topology, where all devices are connected either directly or indirectly to each other without a central switch. This is a difference thing between the mesh and the star. In the star, we learn that there is a switch and that switch are going to connect all the computers, right? Yeah. But in mesh, there is no switch system here. So it means that the computers in a network like this are connected with each other. So every computer is connected with each other. Right? Yeah. So it means that you don't need any central hub or a switch system. So this is kind of a very interesting topology. So there are two types of mesh networks, full mesh and partial mesh. In a full mesh network, every device is directly connected to every other device. Like I, I drawn the full mesh. So I'm writing F for full, M for mesh. So every computer here, right here is going to be connected with the other one. But in a partial mesh, direct connections only exist between some devices. You can see right here, partial mesh. So you can see two computers are connected. This one is connected. This one is connected. And both of these computers are connected. So these two are not connected. Look, these two are not connected. This one and this one. So these two are not going to be connect with each other. So I'm going to remove it. So you can see there's a clear picture in which the, some computers are connected and some are not connected. So partial network uh, mesh topology, it means that all the computers are not necessarily to connect with each other. Is that okay? okay. Yep. Okay. So there is some caution. Let's see what is it. Again, diagrams of the mesh topology can often look very much like those for peer-to-peer -peer network, but they are not be confused with each other. A mesh network topology can support a client-server network where one of the devices is a server and the other are client that connect to either directly or via each other. So I think you know about a client server computer. In client server computer, we have connected with the server all the time. And the server is going to send us the data messages, whatever. So client server is a different thing. And mesh is a different thing. Different. Okay. So there's no need to get confused between the client server computer model or a mesh network topology. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's see the advantages and disadvantages of mesh. So the first one, by removing the central switch, there is no single point of failure. Yes. In the mesh, I teach you, no, in the star, I teach you if the central hub or the switch is failed due to any reason. So the whole network will be failed. But here yeah. there is no central switch. So there is no chance of failing the whole network. So making the network very robust, if any device fails, data can be sent down a different route to its destination. What does it mean? Let me teach you. Look, in full mesh, 
you can see these two computers are connected. But let's suppose if this connection is failed. So this computer is going to connect in this route, by this route. Like it, it sends from one, two, three, and four. So if one and four is disconnected, so the computer number one is going to send the data via one till two, then two till three, then three till four. So this is how the data transmission can be possible if a wire is disconnected between these two. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it is, it is possible here in mesh. So this is the advantage. Like, like there's no chance of uh, disconnecting from the network, right? Yeah. Okay, so the mesh topology is well suited to the wireless networks that can be used each wireless device to route the data through the network. Like we use wireless networking nowadays and we know that via wireless network, we all are get connected. So there is no need of a storm or there's no snowfall chance. Like if you got a storm or snowfall, so you still get connected. Why? Because you are connected with the wireless one. So in mesh, you are going to use a wireless network and you can connect with the network anytime. You can route your data anywhere. So there's no need of cabling all time. Right? Yeah. Okay, so what are the disadvantages? Let's see. The first one, wired mesh networks are very expensive. As every device needs to be wired to every other device. So as we know that for a wireless network, we are using fiber optic. So fiber optic cables are still very expensive. So once you are going to expand your network in a mesh and you have, let's suppose 15 computers. So all 15 computers are connected with each other via wire. So wire is a bit expensive. So it is a disadvantage. So this is very impractical in terms of a number of network interfaces required on every device. So if the wires are expensive, so definitely all the computers on the networks, uh, you know, need to be connected with each other and it takes a lot of money and time as well. Yes, a time as well. Like you are going to set the wires in the whole network. And if you are hundred computers in a network, so think how much time and wire they will consume. Yeah. Okay. So as yes, there is no central point, so that all the data travels through. It is not possible to screen all data for security purpose. A very big disadvantage. Like you're not going to monitor the data which is coming or going. From which source it is coming. So you cannot screen this thing. So this <laughs> is the advantage that maybe you get the data from any unauthorized website you will get the data from unknown person. You are getting the data from the hacker, fisher, farmer. So that is a big challenge. So if you are not going to monitor your transmission, it will be very dangerous for you or for the users all the time. Right? Yeah. Okay, now what you need to do, you need to write down about, uh, let me tell your task. I'm just writing here task. You need to write three features of mesh networks. Right? Okay. You need to write two differences between mesh and star topology, right? I'm getting it? Yeah. Okay. And this is your first question. First 
This is the second question, two differences. And this is the third one. You need to write three advantages and three disadvantages for MASH. So you can search internet as well. Your time starts now. Take your time, no hurry, okay? Now the next topic is Wi-Fi because in network topologies, we cannot finish the topic without discussing Wi-Fi. So what is the full form of Wi-Fi? Um, no, I don't know. Okay. The full form of Wi-Fi is wireless field ET. What is the full form? Wireless. Wireless. Field ET. F-I-E-L-D-I-T-Y. Field ET. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now, what is a Wi-Fi? Let's see again. A Wi-Fi is a set of standards, protocols that define how network devices can communicate wirelessly over radio waves. So, we are using Wi-Fi. Like in your homes, you, me, everyone is using Wi-Fi because it is now standard method of internet. Like you cannot assume any any home, any any house, who any family who don't have a Wi-Fi, isn't it? What do you think? Yeah. Like if you visit your your relatives and you ask for the Wi-Fi password and they say it. No, we are not using Wi-Fi. So what do you think? What do you think? You ask, hey, are you serious? You're living in Stone Age? You are yeah. living in a dark ages? Are you serious? You don't have a Wi-Fi? How is that possible? Like, like a house without a water is acceptable. But a house without a Wi-Fi is unacceptable yeah because so, uh, someone says in a restaurant you are going to the pizza hut and you ask for the wi-fi password and they say no sir we are not having this service so believe me you won't go again you will never you will never go again because wi-fi is a very important part of our life now like we cannot imagine our lives without using internet, right? So a Wi-Fi is a set of standard rules or protocols. So with that Wi-Fi, we are going to connect with the devices. We are going to connect with the other networks. We are going to send the data. We are going to receive the data. So these all things are come under Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi connect our devices with the help of radio waves. Right? With the help of? Radio waves. Yes. So radio waves are there to send the data, to transfer the data, to establish a network connection. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So the official name of the Wi-Fi is protocol IEEE 802.11. And it defines several rules. So official name of the Wi-Fi protocol is 1EE802.11. So once you are going to discuss about the Wi-Fi with someone, so you can use this thing like, I have an IEE802.11. So the person thinks that you are screwed. What is that thing IEE? So you can say that it is the official name of the Wi-Fi 